Hey guys, I will explain how to deposit money and crypto on gate.io, how to withdraw crypto from gate.io, how to actually buy and sell cryptocurrency. Gate.io is a paid farm for cryptocurrency traders. If you are a crypto trader and you are looking for a medium to buy or sell your tokens or coins, I recommend Gate.io to you. So if you want to deposit money onto your Gate.io account, what you need to do is to go over to buy crypto and then you need to decide if you would like to deposit using your credit card or using your bank transfer or P2P trade. From the left side, you can choose the cryptocurrency and here enter the total purchase amount and from the bottom choose the payment method and then click on buy. And same if you want to sell cryptocurrency, you can sell from the right side. However, if you would like to deposit cryptocurrency onto this exchange, what you need to do is to go over to the wallet and click on deposit. You will then see a screen looking similar to this one. But before you decide which coin or which chain you would like to use to deposit crypto onto your account, you need to go over to another exchange. So the exchange you would like to withdraw from, from here you can choose the coin and select the chain you would like to use. You will see that using the TRC20 network is free. You can also scan this QR code to deposit crypto into your account. And if you would like to withdraw cryptocurrency from gate.io, once again, you need to go over to wallet again, click on withdrawal. And you will then see a page. You need to go over to coin and then you need to select the cryptocurrency you would like to withdraw now. For example, I will be using BTC and once you have selected the cryptocurrency, you will see all the chains available now. However, if you are not sure which chain to use, you need to go over to the other exchange so the exchange you would like to transfer to and paste the wallet address here and fill in the amount you would like to withdraw. Last thing you need to do is to fill in your email code and the two-factor authentication code generated in the Google Authenticator and once you have done that, you just need to click on submit request. Now if you have still got any question at all or if I didn't explain something clearly enough, please ask me in the comment section below so I can help you out. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.